Hello to everyone watching this footage, it's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself for newcomers. I am born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to create my own creative universe like how the late Stan Lee did. For this particular footage, I'll be trying all that I can to make it sound cinematic and satisfactory due to the type of adrenaline rush that would be necessary for this particular input. So if you guys bear with me, I'm going to read an, an, like a really impressive story. It's not much of an introductory as it is more of a uh, interaction of sorts. And I really hope that this video would feel that much thrilling on your guys' behalf. So bear with me. Madam Shear, number three. Battling Sharp, created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Apes, October 29th, 2020. To begin this story of sorts, we start examining a large gathering of modern Nazis traveling through a massive catacomb system miles below the country of China. They were trying to level the country in a forced attempt to have the Axis powers reign supreme upon the globe. But as they were passing through the damp and cobweb-covered tunnels, they find a seemingly manufactured doorway with the heroic Madame Shear blocking their path. And what do you think you guys are doing here? She asked the militants. Back off, Shear, the group captain yelled in irritation. The person who assigned this task for us promised us great fortune. We don't know who but she sounded quite certain that she wasn't setting us up. The Second World War ended decades ago. Can you just stop trying? Madame Shear said in an honest but dignified manner. But in German, the captain commanded the troops to fire all their machine guns at Shear. But due to her uncanny speed and bladed hands, she ricochets all the bullets across the pillars and stone walls that held the place together, all without receiving a single bullet wound. She then stomped on the long cracked floors with her right foot, and the troops started feeling gradual tremors all along the antique room. The captain then saw that she are left without a trace and yelled, Oh, you're joking. As the entire segment collapsed all around them, killing the troops and captain. Nearby, Sheer dusted herself off and said to herself, Who assigned those guys to do that? The Nazi commander Valkyrie? Nope, a familiar voice said. Sheer turned around and saw her evil counterpart, Sharp emerge from the darkness with a devious smirk. What are you doing here, Sharp? Shear said to her other dimensional enemy. Well, I assigned those Nazis to level all of China to make it seem like you were the one to blame. Everyone will reject you, and you will lose all your belongings, and you will die all alone by the edge of your own fingers. Those, uh, those guys were going to perish anyway, Sharp said without any regret. That's messed up, Sharp. Go back to where you belong, Sheer yelled in disgust. Face it, Sheer, I'm more superior than you ever would be, she replied as the two started fighting within the subterranean tunnel system. Madame Sheer and Sharp started slashing and impaling each other with enough durability and endurance to keep on fighting. I'll end your everything, Sheer, Sharp said as Madame Sheer started using her ninja-like ability to dodge her strikes. Sharp then pulled out a glowing metallic bracelet from her suit and applied it to her right wrist. Hope you don't mind if I use a weapon I stole from you, Sharp revealed as she used the bracelet to laser the corridors as Madame Shear relied on her acrobatics to dodge the blazing hot neutron lasers. When all that was left was a circular platform in the center of a deep pit of rocks and dirt. Shear and Sharp 
kept trying to impale each other in attempts to make the other bleed out. Madame Shear then snatched the stolen weapon and tried to use it, but Sharp punched her in the nose and made her drop the device in the darkened depths of what was left of the room. When Sharp finally speared her helpless target and made her spit out blood, Sharp announced, You don't stand a blasted chance, Shear. I'm the far greater equivalent. After she said that, we hear a faint, random beeping from the bottom of the platform. Hold on tight, Madame Shear said with a smirk, as the stolen device detonated with equal force to a neutron bomb, decimating the battle zone and launching the two fighters at the western side of the Great Wall, crash landing onto the solid surface of the ancient monument. As Sharp started gargling and trying to stay awake, she asked the standing tall Madame Shear, How did you possibly do that? How can you outsmart me? And Shear replied, You're smart enough. You figure it out. Shear then used a built-in molecular transmitter to transport her evil equivalent to her designated reality, the untrusted dimension. She then started limping off as her computer system, Maya, contacted her. Sir, your fight was overly intense. You almost leveled China with that neutron device. Don't worry, Maya. I still got it covered. That's what matters, isn't it? Not necessarily, sir. But I've got to ask. How do you accomplish all that and still live to tell about it? And Sheer responded with a smile. What can I say? I'm full of surprises. Now enable the transport back to the tower. All right, sir. Maya responded, and Madame Shear walked through a summoned portal back to her domain in Blader Tech Tower, where she got medical treatment from all the commotion that she, she succeeded in dealing with. The end. Well, I hope you guys find that storyline and such satisfactory, and I hope I kept it comprehensible and cinematic and such. And uh, if you guys want, it's your choice. You could like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you, um, and just so you know, uh, there's going to be a point where I'm going to introduce more data sheets rather than legitimate stories due to the availability of whatever's available, you know? So just to give you guys a heads up on what to expect in the long run, you know? And I uh, hope you guys have a fine, um... A fine Christmas, and I hope you guys had a, uh, a fine Thanksgiving and such. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys enjoy your time and such. And until next time, in transmission.